large chunks fall from a collapsing glacier, spawning big waves and causing mayhem. Don't get too close, Mother Nature is powerful. Join me as we take a look at 15 amazing glacier collapses and calvings. Number 15, Peterman Glacier, Greenland. Don't let the name fool you, because Greenland is mighty cold and full of ice. And you better believe that the coastal waters here are full of some pretty big icebergs. And in August 2010, a giant iceberg experienced one big calving event when a glacier about 100 square miles in size broke and fell into the ocean, decreasing the size of the main glacier by 25%. This incident was the largest iceberg calving in about 50 years, but whether or not it occurred because of global warming is still up for debate. The calving created a new iceberg so big that it was given its own name by the National Ice Center, the Peterman Ice Island. This new Peterman Glacier floated along in the ocean, traveling out in the Nares Strait and then south through the Baffin Bay. When something this big breaks off from the main iceberg, it produces an incredibly loud sound that can be heard for miles, and it's very likely that the main iceberg will calve again in the coming years, as scientists have found another big crack in the ice since 2010. Number 14, Jakobshavn Glacier. Also known as the Aleutiat Glacier, the Jakobshavn Glacier is a large outlet glacier in West Greenland, which drains about 6.5% of the Greenland ice sheet and makes up for about 10% of all Greenland icebergs. It's also one of the fastest moving glaciers in the world. This thing is massive, and about 35 billion tons of icebergs calve off from here each year. But some of these calvings are bigger than others, and in 2008, Adam LeWinter and Jeff Orlovsky were able to document the largest calving of this iceberg ever recorded on film. But this wasn't just some one-and-done calving. The entire event lasted for a full 75 minutes as the Jakobshavn Glacier retreated for a full mile across, with a calving face of three miles wide. The ice was about 3,000 feet high, taller than the tallest building in the world, which is three to 400 feet being above the water and the rest below. It was an incredibly rare sighting, and the film crew waited for days to capture something just like this. Number 13, Milna Ice Shelf. In the northern regions of Canada, sitting in the Arctic Ocean, is the second largest ice shelf in the world, the Milna Ice Shelf. But on July 30th, 2020, and again the very next day, the northern portion of the Milna Ice Shelf calved, reducing its size from 72 square miles to just 41 square miles, and the remaining chunk drifted north into the ocean. But something that big just isn't an iceberg, it's an ice island. And this one just happened to calve again a few days later on August 3rd, with one part being 21 square miles and the other 9 square miles. But even before the initial calving, the Milna Ice Shelf was full of fractures, and this certainly didn't help its case, so there's a strong potential for even more calving events to occur here. The Milna Ice Shelf is Canada's last ice shelf, and seeing how it fell dramatically in size while the global temperatures get warmer and warmer, scientists are incredibly worried that within our lifetime, the Milna Ice Shelf will be no more, having melted into the sea. Number 12, the Amory Ice Shelf. The Amory Ice Shelf is a broad ice shelf in Antarctica, just at the head of Prince Bay, and the third largest ice shelf in the region. In 2006, Australian scientists were sent to investigate cracks in the ice that had been forming for over a decade at the rate of about 5 to 15 feet a day. Seeing as how this type of activity hadn't occurred since the 1960s, scientists were very curious. But in September of 2019, calving occurred on the Amory Ice Shelf, creating a new iceberg called D28. Just how big was this new iceberg? It was 632 square miles in size and was estimated to weigh about 315 billion tons. That's about the size of two New York cities. But once something this massive happens, it can't be left unnoticed and unchecked. Scientists continue to monitor the D-28 iceberg because of the threat it posed to the shipping channels. By February 2020, D-28 had lodged itself against the edge of the ice shelf, and it's slowly but surely drifting north. Many people thought that the calving of the Amory Ice Shelf was a sign of climate change, but many scientists have reassured the masses that this type of thing is a completely natural occurrence, and it's expected to happen every 50 to 60 years. Number 11, Ward Hunt Ice Shelf. Located on the north coast of Canada, the Ward Hunt Ice Shelf holds the title for the largest ice shelf in the Arctic, and it was actually once part of a larger Ellesmere Ice Shelf before it broke up into six separate pieces. Today, the Ward Hunt Ice Shelf is about 155 square miles in size, about half the size of New York City, and it's been in this place for over 4,000 years. 
but the Ward Hunt ice shelf started calving and breaking up about a century ago, and in the year 2000, satellite imaging showed a large chunk had formed, and by 2008, an 8 square mile calving occurred. And then in 2010, a much larger chunk, about 19 square miles, calved off from the northeast end as well. The rate at which the Ward Hunt ice shelf is cracking, collapsing, and calving is 100% tied to climate change, and every time this happens, billions upon billions of cubic feet worth of fresh water is spilled into the Arctic Ocean, which not only causes massive frigid waves, but sea levels around the world rise. Number 10. Ailes Ice Shelf one of the six major ice shelves off the coast of northernmost Canada, the Ailes Ice Shelf was once part of a larger glacier until it broke free on August 13th of 2005 and began to drift out to sea. The Ailes Ice Shelf is 25 square miles, which is just larger than the island of Manhattan, or the equivalent of 11,000 football fields floating about in the ocean. Unlike some of the other slower calvings on this list, the Ailes Ice Shelf broke free from the larger glacier in less than an hour but that's still one long rumble and one long ice-cold wave being sent forth. The Ailes Ice Shelf stands out from other ice shelves in the Arctic and Greenland, because while those are typically fed by even larger glaciers, the Ailes Ice Shelf is made of tightly compacted, thickened sea ice. Hundreds and hundreds of years worth of these constant icy winds blowing towards land compress the ice to create what is essentially an ice plate attached to the coast. But of course, global warming was able to melt that down to create this specific calving, which was the largest of its kind in about 20 years. Number 9. Larsen Ice Shelf The Larsen Ice Shelf is a series of long ice shelves just chilling in the Antarctic Territory that's been classified by scientists into smaller segments, Larsen A through Larsen G. But it's Larsen C that is by far the largest portion. In July of 2017, a chunk of ice over 2,300 square miles, making up 10% of the entire shelf, finally calved. This new block of ice was over 600 feet thick, with about 100 feet of that sitting above the source. It was so massive that as the 10% piece calved and fell into the ocean, it fully exposed the sea beneath it, including the marine life, to light for the first time in 120,000 years. But this calving was a long time coming, because large bits and pieces of the other Larsen sections had been slowly breaking away, until Larsen A eventually disintegrated in 1995, followed by Larsen B in 2022. And unfortunately, a calving this large does cause a major ripple effect that contributes to the rising of the world's sea levels. Number 8. Iceberg A76 Although it may sound like a robot from the future, Iceberg A76 is the largest iceberg in the world. It calved from the Filchner Rani Ice Shelf in Antarctica in the middle of May 2021, making it the most recent addition to this list. So I said it was the biggest in the world, so just how big is that? Try 1,668 square miles, or three times the size of the capital of India, New Delhi. That's absolutely huge. The Filchner Rani Ice Shelf connects to the continent's landmass and extends out into the surrounding areas. And chunks of ice breaking away from here is a natural occurrence, but these have been happening so much more frequently in recent years due to, you guessed it, climate change. The entire planet may be warming up, but it's the Antarctic ice sheet that's warming up the fastest, which in turn melts the snow and ice covers. The newly melted ice is being drained out into the Weddell Sea, and the average sea level has risen 9 inches in the last 140 years, with about a quarter of that coming from the ice melting in Greenland and Antarctica. Number 7. Columbia Glacier Easily one of the fastest moving glaciers in the world, the Columbia Glacier is located in Prince William Sound just off the southern coast of Alaska in the United States. It is an incredible glacier, but it started retreating in the 1980s, and in that time it's lost 10.5 miles, or 50% of its volume, mostly due to lots and lots of calving. And as of 2015, the Columbia Glacier has lost the equivalent of 36 cubic miles of water, and on average, it's calving about two miles of ice a year. One of the more dramatic calvings here occurred in 2005, when a chunk of the 230-foot-tall iceberg had broken off underwater. But when something like this happens, the freshly broken chunk doesn't just sink down to the bottom of the ocean. Instead, the dark blue iceberg jets right up to the surface in a stunning fashion, with some of these calved icebergs being as tall as 200 feet. Imagine getting up close and personal with a giant ice demon shooting up from the depths. And imagine the splash it makes when it comes crashing back down to the surface, like a whale breaching the surface before floating away on its own trajectory. Number 6. B-15 Iceberg 
There was a moment in time when the B-15 iceberg was the largest iceberg in the world by area, measuring over 4,200 square miles. The B-15 was calved from the Ross Ice Shelf in Antarctica in March of 2000, before breaking up into even smaller icebergs, with the largest piece being named B-15A. From there, B-15A drifted towards the north, and eventually, in 2005, it would split into even more icebergs, all the way up to 15J. But the initial calving happened because of pre-existing cracks in the ice along the Ross Shelf. Luckily, this calving didn't occur because of global warming and was a natural event that scientists say only happens every 50 to 100 years. So by that logic, it's safe to say that we should see another massive break like this anytime between the years 2030 and 2100. And while these may be some cool facts, there were, however, certain ecological consequences. Iceberg B-15A prevented specific ocean currents and winds from assisting the natural 2004-05 summer breakup of sea ice in Antarctica's McMurdo Sound, and even proved to be a big headache for the resupply ships to multiple research stations. It also affected the local penguin population by adding a considerable distance for the parents to travel back home across the sea to reunite with their chicks. Number 5. Helheim Glacier One of the faster calving events to make it to this list happened to the Helheim Glacier in the Samirswak municipality along eastern Greenland. It was luckily captured on video by researchers from NYU. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Calving went on for a full 30 minutes, with four miles worth of the original glacier breaking off, and it's said that the rumbling of the glacier breaking up into the fjord went on for an entire 24 hours. But the Helheim Glacier has a bit of a reputation here, as it's one of the largest outlet glaciers in the country, which feeds the waters of the Helheim Fjord. But it's also part of a series of local icebergs that are retreating at alarming rates. Between 1998 and 2013, Helheim Glacier retreated about two and a half miles, thinning out by about 300 feet, one of the fastest thinning rates in Greenland. And while calving is part of nature, that level of retreating and thinning that quickly is certainly not a good thing. Number 4. Inarsuit Iceberg Inarsuit is a small settlement in Greenland that by 2020 had a population of just 180 people. It's a small, quiet, and peaceful place, but things suddenly changed in July of 2018 when a massive iceberg floated way too close to shore and grounded on the seafloor. The iceberg quite literally overshadowed the coastal settlement and residents quickly evacuated, because if that thing calved, then it would cause waves that could easily engulf the town. The potentially deadly iceberg stood as tall as the Statue of Liberty at 300 feet and weighed about 10 million metric tons. And the fact that the area was experiencing rainfall with a temperature of 30 degrees Fahrenheit wasn't helping them either. The residents had all seen their fair share of icebergs before, but they all agreed unanimously that this was the largest to have ever reared its head, and the fact that everyone could see plenty of holes and cracks in the ice only added to the anxiety of an icy cold tsunami caused by calving. All of this happened just days after the calving of the Helheim Glacier, but luckily for the residents of Inarsuit, though, the winds and a new moon tide managed to send the 300-footer on its way north. Life went on, but how long until something like this happens again? Number 3. Lacante Glacier Lacante Glacier is a giant 21 by 1 mile glacier in Alaska, discovered by the U.S. Navy in 1887. But its history likely goes back much further, as the indigenous people of the area, the Tlinglets, have named the Lacante Glacier Huti after a bird of myth that produces the sound of thunder from flapping its wings. And although scientists agree that it's in an unstable condition today, the Lacanti Glacier has retreated about two and a half miles in the last 150 years or so. This Alaskan glacier draws in plenty of crowds who gather to see its shooter icebergs. Now, these are icebergs that calve underneath the 800-foot deep water of Lacanti Bay, only to shoot right out of the water because of their buoyancy. The Lacanti Bay sees so much calving that many of these smaller chunks of the glacier will choke off the bay, preventing boats from getting through, but there are still plenty of aerial tours to get around this. Number 2. Perito Moreno Glacier Formed by the warmer waters coming down from the Andes Mountains, the Perito Moreno Glacier is one of the largest of its kind in Patagonia, coming in at about 19 miles long. But every three or four years, it calves like clockwork into the lake below at Los Glaciares National Park. But the Perito Moreno Glacier stands out because it forms a gorgeous blue and white arch. 
The calving has actually become so popular that tourists flock from far and wide to catch a glimpse every few years in mid-March. You've got to get lucky, though, because not every outing can promise a calving. But then why are these calvings happening so often? The Perito Moreno Glacier almost creates its own feedback loop. The collapse begins when the water from the melting glacier causes the sea level to rise, which causes a tunnel to form through the glacier. Employing the laws of Archimedes' principle, the force exerted on the underwater glacier is equal to the fluids that are displaced until, boom, more and more chunks of the glacier fall into the water below. Water continues to freeze and fall perpetually forever. Number 1. Thwaites Glacier Thwaites Glacier in Western Antarctica is the widest glacier on Earth, spanning about 80 miles across, with a depth of 2,600 to 3,900 feet below the surface. Scientists have been keeping a close eye on this glacier for years and have nicknamed it the Doomsday Glacier, and that doesn't sound good at all. If this thing collapses, it's going to trigger a cascade of glacial collapse in Antarctica, and they've given it an expiration date of 2031. But Thwaites Glacier isn't just a victim of the progressively warmer waters underneath it. It's slowly but surely losing its grip on the seamount below. And as it gets weaker, we're going to see a lot more surface fractures that will spread across the 80-mile shelf. And if you've learned anything from this video, then you know that fractures in a glacier mean calving. In 2019, NASA found an underwater cavity in Thwaites Glacier 1,000 feet tall with an area two-thirds the size of Manhattan, which is speeding up the glacier's decay. Today, Thwaites Glacier contributes to about 4% of the rise of sea levels, and you better believe that that number will only go up in the coming years. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.